Okay, we're doing the five steps. Let's take it up a notch, shall we? Let's do this. Let's take a, a problem where we have a block sitting on a surface and it's attached to a block hanging off a table. Like this. We'll call this M2, we'll call this M1. And there's still no friction. So, how do we solve this problem? You guessed it, the five steps. So, step one, let's choose a coordinate system. Step two, identify your forces. So, how many forces do you see acting on block one? What's touching it plus gravity? If you said three, you'd be right. So we have the normal force. You have tension. And you have gravity. Let's do the second block. How many forces do you have acting on it? What's touching it plus gravity? There's a tension touching it and pulling it up. There's nothing else touching it, so gravity. You've now done steps one and two of the five steps. And remember, making your free body diagram is step two. Step three is break them into their X and Y component. Well, these are already resolved into their X and Y component. So now all we have to do is step four, add like components. So let's start with our first block. The sum of the forces in the X on block one, and remember what we said. If the arrow's pointing to the right, it's positive. If it's pointing to the left, it's negative. But I will remind you, step one is choose your coordinate system. We just as easily could have called this the negative X direction and that the positive X. But for now, let's just leave it the way that we're usually comfortable for. So, this is the positive x direction. So the arrow that we have going to the right is tension. There's nothing else to the left, so that's equal to m1a in the x. Then the sum of the forces in the y direction on block one, you have the normal force and you have m1g. The normal force is up, so it's positive. The gravitational force is down, so it's negative. And that's equal to um, zero, because we know it's not moving off the table. It's not moving through the table, so we know that's equal to zero. The sum of the forces in the x on the second block, there are no x forces. So we know that that's equal to zero. And the sum of the forces on the y, in the y on block two, That's equal to, we have the tension going up, we have mg going down, and what direction do you think that this system would move? Well, looking at it, this block is going to get pulled this way. So this block is accelerating down. Since acceleration is a vector, and that's in the negative y direction, that makes this acceleration negative. So this would be M2A, negative. So we can solve for the tension, and the tension would be equal to M2G minus M2A. 
since we brought the M2G over, it became positive, just like here. We've now finished step four. We've added like components. So now all we have to do is step five, which is either find the resultant or the equation of motion. In this case, we're going to find the equation of motion. So we've solved for the tension in the second block. And due to Newton's third law, we know that this tension is equal to that tension. So we can get rid of one of our own knowns because we can substitute this in for that unknown. So looking for my <laughs> marker, let's go ahead and substitute that in for T. So M2G minus M2A equals M2 a. Really, I guess in this case, I don't even need to put the parentheses. So now I'm just solving for A. So I bring both A's to the same side. M2G uh, equals M. Oh, that should be M1A, by the way. And that's in the X. So M2G is equal to, we brought this over, so that would be M1A sub X plus m2a sub x, and now we can factor out the a. So m2g equals m1 plus m2. Since the a's are common, we can bring them both out. And then we just want a by itself, so I'm gonna just move this over here. m2g over m1 plus m2 is equal to a sub x. And once again, now you can plug your numbers in to get your answer. Remember, no numbers without units. If the units don't come out to be meters per second squared, you probably made a mathematical mistake somewhere. Check your work. So again, writing units is a good way of checking your work.